So Rudy, you were just saying a moment ago that you're, that that the upper management of the company, and I think this helps explain why there's such a good atmosphere on board among the staff. That they say your job is really to do nothing. Yeah, in a way it is actually. Yeah, in a in a way the. Um, my superior, the director of uh, hotel operations that I report to, he actually literally told me, I want you to do nothing. And but of course, what he means by that is that um, if everybody is well trained and well informed and knows what to do, and to do it when, at what time, and what is expected from this person, then everybody will do their uh, his or her job accordingly, leaving me only being there, sitting, having a nice glass of wine with you, knowing that the whole operation runs smoothly and that creates an environment where I do not have to be a police officer but just where I can walk around and say like that's doing great and my crew is surprising me actually from time to time like so what have you been doing they come up with their own ideas react and uh, adjust the, the, the product actually to it so every cruise for me is, is different um, for example a little example there was uh, I was having a, a cocktail party with a group of guests and one of the guests asked me like, uh, you know what, I'm missing um, little pieces of ham with uh, the salad as condiment with lunch. And I said, you know what, this is a great idea, let's implement that. It doesn't take that much of an effort to do it, and it pleases so many people, because uh, it didn't only please him and his wife, but also a lot of other guests were taking it. So you always are improving and changing it by listening to people, and the only way to listening to guests is to be there. Leadership. Right? that trickles down and influences the way that you respond and react to people and all. And you say that the leadership, your upper management on this ship, when they when they come to the ship, they're not looking for all that's wrong. They're looking for what you're doing that's right, the things yeah. that you're gonna do that surprise them, that please them. Yeah, they create really uh, an atmosphere of trust. So, for example, none of us are afraid if somebody from the head office is coming on board, if a corporate uh, traveling uh, controller is coming on board. Actually, we don't have controllers anymore within our company uh, because we di report directly to our uh, uh, directors in the office itself. And if they come on board, we know that they're not going to come to give us a hard time. They're gonna come to support us. And that, then they also know and feel that they'll be welcomed with open arms and it's not nothing fake about it. And we learn from them. They go from ship to ship, so they take ideas with them. And if we did not already spread them the word amongst ourselves, uh, with all the eight hotel managers that I work very closely with, then they are going to tell. A good example is that we had an idea here on board of this ship uh, in a way how we, we would present the way that people could order a boiled egg. And they can now with this new feature, it's not that boiled eggs are presented on the buffet, but they can order it in the way that you like it. One minute, two minutes, three minute, ten minute boiled egg, just the way that you like it, poached. Yeah. And how do you tell the guests this? So we made nice little table cards where people were guests were reminded that they could order this with their waiter, as if as if their uh, as with their uh, oatmeal and uh, their daily special. This was a great idea that was on this ship, and my director of hotel operations went to another ship and said, you know what, implement this here too, this is, this is a wonderful feature. And this is how we all actually help and benefit from each other. And yeah, that comes with a very positive, open culture that we have.